The Mueller report is out, and with it, one of American liberals' favorite pet causes finds an unsatisfying conclusion. So, although the report has not been made public yet, uh, we have a four-page summary by William Barr, and in it um, is quoted one of the sentences in the, sum, uh, in the report itself, which is that the investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities. So no collusion, or at least no evidence of any collusion. This was the main motivation behind the Mueller investigation, but over the course of the investigation another question appeared, which was whether or not Trump engaged in any obstruction of justice. Here the report does not reach any conclusion, but instead delegates this uh, matter to the Attorney General, Rudy Lampard, who, unsurprisingly, because he is quite close to Trump, does not plan on any further investigation. So we can read from the Barr summary that the special counsel therefore did not draw a conclusion, one way or the other, as to whether the examined conduct, conduct constituted obstruction. Instead, for each of the relevant actions investigated, the report sets out evidence on both sides of the question and leaves unresolved what the special counsel views as difficult issues of law and fact concerning whether the president's actions and intent could be viewed as obstruction. The special counsel states that while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. Barr himself reaches the conclusion that in cataloging the president's actions, many of which took place in public view, the report identifies no actions that in our judgment constitute obstructive conduct, had an access to a pending or con contemplated proceeding, and were done with corrupt intent, each of which under the department's principles of federal prosecution guiding charging decisions would need to be proven beyond reasonable doubt to establish an obstruction of justice offense. What's important here in my view is that first of all, the Valley report doesn't reach any conclusions there seems to be uh, at least some measure of evidence that Trump indeed did obstruct, engage in obstruction of justice. And furthermore, this, um, set, uh, this sentence of many of which took place in public view. So that sounds to me that there wasn't much, there weren't much actions that Trump engaged in that were worse than the actions which we know about, like for instance the harsh money that he paid to um, his porn star lover and whatever else he did. So we basically know what he did and Barr doesn't think it's obstruction of justice. You can agree or disagree. It doesn't really matter all that much, but the report doesn't really, probably won't tell us many new things. Of course, we still haven't obtained the report itself, but there will probably be no interesting new findings in this direction, at least. One interesting finding that the report tells us about is the exact structure of the Russian interference within the American elections where the special counsel reached this verdict. Uh, the special counsel's investigation determined that there were two main Russian efforts to influence the 2016 election. The first involved attempts by the uh, Russian organization, the Internet Research Agency, IRA, to conduct disinformation and social media operations in the United States designed to sow social discord eventually with the aim of interfering with the election. Furthermore, the second element involved the Russian government's efforts to conduct computer hacking operations designed to gather and disseminate information to influence the election. The special counsel found that Russian government actors successfully hacked into computers and obtained emails from persons affiliated with the Clinton campaign and Democratic Party organizations and publicly disseminated these materials through various intermediaries, including Wikileaks. So, in particular, the council reached the conclusion that yes, the Wikileaks emails came from Russian actors. And it doesn't seem that there were, there were many more 
or there was more interference than through the emails and through social media campaigns. In particular, there was no direct hacking of the elections or other nonsense. Lastly, Barr notes that he is mindful of the public interest in this matter. For that reason, his goal and intent is to release as much of the special counsel's report as he can uh, consistent with applicable law regulations and departmental policies. What was most interesting to me about the summary were not the things it included, but the things it didn't include. So in particular, it had no mention of whether or not the report will be released in full to the Senate. And furthermore, it did not mention any of the business dealings of the Trump organizations. And we did know that at least at one point, Mueller tried to get more into the business dealings of the Trump organization, which might be pretty corrupt. And there might be much more interesting findings there than with this uh, Russia collusion story. But none of this is in the report. And so maybe either Mueller never really went much in that direction or the summary of the report just left it out. Other than that, well, these were a few years of mostly wasted media coverage about things that just were never that important. And as we see now, there is no evidence of them even ha having happened. While Trump pursued some very, very damaging policies that were never much mentioned. Like for instance, that he increased drone, st drone strikes by eightfold, that he um, disintegrated basically the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. So many things that were just left out by the mainstream media uh, while they instead engaged in what can actually be fairly called a witch hunt because as we see now there's just no evidence that Trump was ever personally involved in any collusion with Russia. Well he did do some very very awful things that they just ignored. So really this is just a failure a complete failure of mainstream media and it is annoying it is really annoying that they could not keep their eyes on the ball that they could not look at all the terrible things Trump actually did but instead had to make make up and conjure this weird tale of a Trump Russia collusion about something that never really probably happened and just so they didn't have to talk about anything that in my opinion just damaged business interests. 